We're back. Day four, simplicity at its finest. A simple life is a good life. Forward fold, let's go. Eight minutes or so. Let's see how deep we can go. I thought today, day four, our little challenge here, I would speak about an exceptional, life-changing rule to follow. And it's only one minute long. The one minute rule. The one minute rule simply is As we hold our stretch, breathe into it, relax, unwind, cultivating some consistency, discipline, and flexibility all at the same time. The one minute rule. If there's a task, a chore, something that you can do within a minute or less, you act without delay. You just simply do it immediately whether that be putting your shoes away, hanging up a jacket, washing a dish. <clears throat> There's so many things that can fall into that one minute rule. Try it. It really makes you become a person of action. I'm the kind of person who just takes care of my business. Can simply start with the one minute rule. I was a master procrastinator for a long time. <laughs> Still am in some regards. Yeah, getting better. And the one minute rule is a really good way to become a person of action. It will help so much in sort of what we're doing now to create consistency, discipline. And discipline, these things just come from small, tiny changes. Just like we talked about yesterday with Atomic Habits. The simpler, the easier the habit to begin with, the more likely we are to stick with it. You start with one minute. And then there's another sort of train of thought of, you know, if you have something, it's going to take longer, but, you know, you want to clean up a room. Well, what about just committing to five minutes? I'm going to do it for five minutes and that's it. That's it. Well, obviously, the room will be a little bit cleaner if you only go for five minutes and stop. But the idea is once you get going done it for five minutes and you've gotten over the most difficult part the starting you're often going to do it for a lot longer and finish the job so either one of those is a terrific way to start to really create some great habits sink a little bit deeper <sighs> consistency really does start with small small actions so the one minute rule is a great way to build that muscle, if you will, the consistency muscle. It removes a lot of the mental clutter too. You see these things pile up and pile up. We can really tick off a lot of boxes of things that maybe we just need to do. Oh, that'll only take a minute. I can do it right now. Boom. Whether that's an email, something I'm not great at, that one I could use for this for sure. Paying a bill. I've gotten way better at that. When a bill comes up, I sort of how quickly can I do it? Can I get it paid in under a minute? Just breathe. Maybe there's a desk that you have that's just cluttered with things. We'll just start, you know what? I'm just going to remove and I'm going to tidy this desk up, the room up, for one minute. Start there. And build on it. Compound. <sighs> Going a little deeper. If you're just listening to me and you can keep conscious of your breath and sink a little bit deeper with every breath. Stretching the calves, hamstrings, glutes, hips, lower back, spine. Oh, there's so much going on here. This is the best. One minute rule can be really good for, <clears throat> pardon, a breathing exercise. 
Sometimes one breath can make all the difference. One breath can be a meditation. Just take, you know what? I'm just going to be conscious of my breath for one minute. And you take that time. Oh, man, it can make a big difference between reacting and responding. Re react, it's usually an overreaction as opposed to just a few deep breaths. And we respond to make a better choice. That's a great one for the one minute rule. I'm just going to take one minute to be conscious of my breathing. One minute to pay a bill. I can do it. The house becomes a lot tidier, I found, with the one minute rule. It really did make a huge impact for me. Let's take a minute right now. The one minute rule of our breathing. Let's just focus on that. Really conscious. Totally present. There's noises and sounds in the environment. Kids running around making noise. <laughs> Just be here. Oh, I do so much better of a job when I'm focused on my breathing, sinking deeper. Oh, yeah. Push yourself a bit. Find the edge. See if you can't just go past it just a bit. Own the suffering. Own that feeling of, oh, I can do this. Definitely notice with some deeper breathing. You're breathing. And an exhale, sort of sink down a little bit deeper. It's good to, you can grab a hold here, pull yourself a bit. Really trying to go to the edge right now. Stay with me. Let's go deep. We're creating small little victories. We build discipline with those small victories. It's another win for showing up today. Get that deep fascia. Oh. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you. I definitely went a little deeper. That was nice. <sighs> Keep showing up. Show up for yourself. We're going to build consistency, discipline, flexibility. Think about that one minute rule. If you've come this far, comment. Tell me one thing and one way you're going to implement the one minute rule. And see if it can't transform your life. I know it did for me. It's amazing what the smallest little things can do for us. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.